Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode reaction of Jujutsu Kaisen. I will be watching and reacting to episode 10 today and I'm really excited to get into it. So where we're up to now in this series is we've just been introduced to Nanami and he's kind of just been tutoring Itadori, kind of just teaching him a few extra things while Gojo's been away. Itadori has also been trying to kind of befriend Nanami but he's just not that type of person at all so it's hilarious watching Itadori's attempts fail. But those two have been invested in the crimes surrounding three high school boys who died in the theater which was caused by Mahito and then also there's Yoshino who witnessed that in the cinemas was able to see Mahito and it also turns out that Yoshino did not like those boys who died so they were his bullies so he's gone and pretty much confronted Mahito in an alleyway by himself by the way and he's pretty much just asked whether he can learn to do that as well which is wild um yeah he's being bullied but at the same time like you want to learn how to do that to a bunch of kids who are being mean to you? I feel like that is just really extreme. But Mahito has kind of taken Yoshino under his wing. He's been teaching him a few things. Nanami knows exactly where the hideout is, where Mahito is hiding. But he's got Itadori to trail Yoshino and he hasn't told him that they've actually found the hideout. So I think we'll see a bit of a confrontation between Yoshino and Itadori in this episode. And then maybe also Nanami and Mahito. I feel like the latter will not go down too well. I don't really know what to expect for a confrontation between Itadori and Yoshino though. But there is a quick recap of the last episode and let's get into this next one. Also if you're after uncut reactions or early access to these videos you can check out my Patreon which is linked in the description. Otherwise thank you for just watching this video and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that if you enjoy this content. Any support helps this channel out so much so thank you for that and let's get to this episode. The high school, so is this where Yoshino goes? So is he just going to school and living a normal life after what has happened? Oh god, here we go. Oh, these are the guys who die. So this is in the past. Isn't it? He's not gonna pull out some curse powers, is he? God, I'm concerned. Is he gonna be beat up? Yeah, I saw that coming. Like, seriously, all for standing up for your bullies, but you just gotta be smart about it, you know? And having his face right near his foot was not smart. <laughs> mm, God. See, look, there's four of those guys and just him. So this is obviously a memory, right? Because otherwise I feel like he would have maybe used Mojito or whatever knowledge he's kind of acquired to at least try and use curses on them. They're just having casual conversations. <laughs> if that isn't freaky. What's that? What is that? Oh god. <gasps> really? Oh! No! No! That's messed up. He's got it in his hand. Oh He's... What? <laughs> Why is he just so casual about it? That is what concerns me so much. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, well, explain them, please. Please, I want to know. Oh, that's how he does it. <gasps> Oh,God,that's<笑> not be putting these ideas in this kid's head. Oh, <laughs> oh Itadori's gonna be following him. Yeah. 
So did Mahito actually teach him how to do anything? Like, is he gonna attack Itadori? <laughs> yeah, what is that exactly? Mm, okay. So what does it do? こいつに彼を襲わせます。え?ちょっと呪いを死にできない一般人の場合。いたとりくんが救助した。They <laughs> <laughs> have no clue what they're getting themselves into. So it's all just a test. No, honestly, that's a great idea. I wasn't sure at first sending a curse after him, but with one like that low of a grade, it'll be right. ジュレート同等級の術師が任務に当たると。つまり。二級術師は二級呪霊に勝つのが当たり前なんで俺はそういう大変なことを知らないのご嬢さん適当だからいやそうそういやそうそういやそうそういやそうそういやそうそういやそうそういやそうそういやそうそういやそうそういやそうそうい
呪術師は呪力で体を守ることはできても魂を守ることはしてきてないでも多少は無意識に魂を呪力で覆っているようだねそうでなきゃあんたは今頃俺の手ごめああ、そういうダイレクトに回触れて人間やめさせてあげる。Alright, Nanami, time to clock out. Alright, go home. Let go, George. Take care of this one. He's <laughs> up. Time to go. He's actually just gonna go. Yeah. So that episode was definitely interesting. For starters, we're gonna see a little just casual discussion happen between Mahito and Yoshino and I don't know why, but it was way too casual for my liking. They're just casually chatting about life and death and human emotions and stuff and I'm like, Yoshino, you need to get out of there, man. And then when Mahito kind of hands Yoshino the, like, the human corpses that he'd kind of misshapen, he just hands it to Yoshino and then once he tells him what it is, Yoshino is just like, Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd be a bit mad if this was my mum. Like, I'd probably hate you for it. <laughs> like, why is he just so unfazed by this? This kid needs therapy. Mojito also gave him really, really terrible life advice. Eat when you're hungry. Yeah, sure. Murder when you feel like it. No, not at all. <laughs> Don't take that advice. That's terrible. And this kid's old enough to have his own, like, moral compass, right? And he's just like, okay, yeah. You know what? That sounds good. I hate some people. Let's go kill them. Yoshino got quite a few lessons about the soul as well um which was interesting to hear obviously mojito is obviously extremely experienced in this field of practice so it was nice to get a little insight into that side of things aside from him being a curse so the fact that he can literally just do whatever he wants to the human soul because he can see it like it doesn't become a matter of something being so precious if that made sense his explanation was like really well said so i'm just gonna butcher that that actually made a lot of sense um it was kind of wise as well so good job mojito on that part but stop giving advice about murdering people. Now Itadori and Yoshino's kind of interaction with each other that was just all over the place at first it seems like Itadori had like just no control over anything that was happening. The the barely grade four curses got let out. He's kind of stumbled into this conversation. It made him look a bit funny. And then he like pulled down that teacher's pants and ran off with it. It really seems like he was desperate to just kind of <laughs> try and cover things up just by being weird, if that makes sense. Like he was already acting weird. So he's just like, you know what? I'll go all out and act like some crazy person. But then it was just like all apart the plan and he's like just rocks back up beside Yoshino and it's like hey let's go but Yoshino recognizes the pin that is on Itadori's uniform so I wonder just exactly what he knows I also want to know whether Mahito has kind of taught him anything because he was literally about to use jujitsu on that teacher guy so hopefully Itadori can get some answers out of him at this next episode also we then had Nanami and Mahito kind of face off the more I learn about Nanami the just funnier it is honestly I I love him though. He's great, but it's just kind of funny. It seems like he's very proper, like on time sort of thing, all of that. So it's really funny when he's like, I need to make sure I finish this fight before 6 p.m. That's what I'm clocking out. I don't want to work overtime. I want to get out of here. But now that it's 6 p.m. and he's having to work overtime, it seems like he's increasing his curse power. I don't know why. Why didn't he just increase it in the first place? So I don't know like the details about all that, but I can't wait to see the app come of that fight in the next episode and again Itadori and Yoshino's interaction how that kind of works out but thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if so please don't forget to like comment subscribe whatever else you can do to help support my channel otherwise I hope you stick around for future videos